I think it's very important for us to recognize that just north of the border here in the United States, Pastor James Coates is in prison right now for having church. Um, and I've said on Twitter today, I'm not even going to be playing these games with those of you who are doing these things, but um, there are people, of course, lots of people, including people who call themselves Christians, who are saying, no, he's in prison for violating the uh, proper rules of the state. He's trying to kill people. He's not being safe. The, I even just saw a tweet. The role of the church is to keep us safe. I remember that in the New Testament. Remember that in the New Testament? I remember that in the New Testament. Everybody joined the New Testament church for safety reasons in the New Testament. Um yeah, that early church thing with the lions, let's not worry about that. Um, so uh, those people that are pulling this thing, who have completely bought into the panic, they've pe completely bought into the narrative, they don't look at numbers themselves, they don't do any research for themselves, they just believe whatever MSNBC tells them. You folks are going to be the first people lining up to get your church compliance certificates when they come out, and they will. And you're going to be the first ones um, submitting your sermons uh, to the government for compliance, and you go, that would never happen. It's happening in, I think it's Sweden? I think it was Sweden that was doing that. Uh, they're already setting up the system to do that. Um, might have been another one of the Scandinavian countries, or one of them up there. I forget which one it was, but I think it was Sweden. Uh, and you're going to be the first one ratting out any quote-unquote radicals in your numbers uh, to the government. Uh, so you're going to be just like the state church in China, you know, the ones that get the state approval, which means they're no longer the church. Uh, that's, you've already given in. You've already given in. So those who haven't and recognize what's actually going on, uh, that this is the, the very clear steps of tyranny, uh, this is uh, Caesar uh, saying, we will tell you what you can and cannot do. And, you know, we start off with, you know, two weeks to flatten the curve. And we're, what did, what did Joe Biden, who knows? Joe Biden doesn't know what Joe Biden said, but uh, he's talking about being double masking into 2022 and all the rest of this kind of stuff. And we, we've been saying for months, it has nothing to do with the virus. It has nothing to do with the virus. It has everything to do with global reset. It's what it's all about. And you can close your eyes to it and you can continue, you know, just recirculating TGC articles. Um, but that's just the way it is. So there you go. All right. <clears throat> so pray, uh, of course, uh, for James Coates and the church up there and all the faithful Christians in Australia, especially in Victoria, in Canada. Um, and look, the greatest thing that Canadian Christians can do for James Coates is to open your church on Sunday and worship God and pray for him. Okay. Um, because they won't even let his family come see him. They're treating him like he's a terrorist and that's exactly how they're going to spin this type of stuff. I was told years ago, and I've said this on Twitter, Michael Fallon told me years ago, what they're going to do is they're going to use public health emergencies as their mechanism. Rich is going, yep, told you the same thing. Yep. And I'm sitting here going, what? You know, we're not seeing it around us. But see, he had heard all this stuff. He had been doing these meetings and these conferences, and he's listening. I think most of the people didn't think that the people who were setting up the conference schedules stuff like would actually be listening. Well, he was listening. And he was telling us this stuff. And it, it was so hard to believe it because you're looking around and you don't see it. Well, here it is. Here it is. And oh, has, has, has it been effective? Oh, has it been effective? The Karen cult has taken off. I, I, think, I think they're probably actually shocked at how effective the Karen cult has been. Um, and so here you go. Uh, there will always be a threat. Because we have treated this one disease unlike any other disease we've ever treated in the past 50 years. And so there'll always be something else. There'll always be a new strain. Remember, we played for you the audio that came out of the Liberal Party in Canada. I think it was October, November. And they said, you know, more lockdowns, stringent lockdowns, and then COVID-21 in March. 
Now, we've already got the new strain stuff happening. Just waiting for COVID-21. And uh, already seeing news stories about how the vaccines won't do anything for the new strains. And so now you got to wait for a new vaccine. And it's just going to be going on and on. Never, ever, 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 ever put these numbers in meaningful comparison to anything else in the past. All has a purpose to it. All has a purpose to it. So the best thing Canadian Christians could do on Sunday is cut those padlocks off, open the church and pray for James Coates and pray for your nation and tell Caesar to get back in his lane. That would be the best thing that would happen.